I'm going, I'm going! Welcome back to the channel. So, told y'all in a previous video when I did the wheel reveal that I had uh, something a little to do with the sponsors coming up. So, let's get right into this. So, I had a sponsor send me the AM Electronics. Um, this is more of a silent sponsorship, I guess you would say. They no longer carry AEM. They went to Haltech. So this is just kind of some back stock they was getting rid of. But I, talking with Cody Queensberry, he said the AEM wideband was the best go-to. And uh, it's very easy plug and play. So I'm excited to get to uh, install this and start looking at my AFR and seeing how everything looks. But... Um, the big thing that I'm excited about, yes, this is exciting, but uh, one of the companies that I love and I watch his YouTube channel, John Smith Racing, he sells products online, and the one thing that I looked at was this 3D printed gauge pod holder. So this replaces your air vent, one of them. It can go this way or this way, whichever way you want it to go and I can mount my AM in it and it still have function of the vent but this is out of the way it's not on an A pillar or anything like that now I don't know how well this is looking on camera but this 3D print is actually very very beautiful I was gonna sand it all down and stuff but it actually does not bother me that much I've seen some that just they was terrible all around this is very good print so I will be using the JSR John Smith Racing even got me a nice decal to go with my AEM and again this is can't really mention much about this because it's you know it is what it is but everything that uh, Cody said is the other widebands they need a like a learning sequence or something you have to have them out of the car start it it's got to read the the air around it then you have to install it and there's a procedure you don't have to do that with AEM you hook it up you plug it into the car downstream you turn it on and it's good to go there is no uh, I don't know what you would call it resequencing relearning um, configuration anything like that I don't know but I'm extremely excited, especially to have a real AM and all the connections. I mean, you look right here, it's plug in, plug in, and it even comes with, with the sensor. The sensor's got the plug in on the end. It has a bung if you have to weld one on, and it has. Um, a white face gauge if you don't want to run the black face gauge which I think I'm going to stick with the uh, black face and then I have I also have this uh, SCT cord that I can plug into the top I can run it with my AEM and I can data log my AFR gauges straight to my AEM data log so I don't have to look at two separate things are already be in the data log so I'm extremely excited about that too you can get these from LMR so be sure to check them out um, Cody Queensberry is the man to go to for these AEMs he can get you a hell of a deal um, don't quote me on this I think he said 190 shipped to your door so that is an amazing deal um, I've seen these for over 220 230 dollars so definitely uh, deal with that and then like I said John Smith Racing has a um, pretty damn good eBay store I love a lot of his stuff I was extremely excited over this and uh, he has a very informative YouTube channel 
I'll leave the link in the description for you to check out John Smith Racing. Like I said, a lot of good information there. And I cannot wait to get this installed. Alright, just show you all for reference how easy this is. These gauges, you can kind of pull them out this way. You just got to keep working them. Mine are uh, pretty crap-tastic anyway, but they pull out just like that. And then these tabs line up, and that goes right in. And now, when I'm sitting here in the driver's seat, and I'll look over, there's going to be my gauge. All the wiring can run up and come right up through here, and everything's good to go. I was going to say, if uh, you, know, you never have a passenger like I very seldom do, you could even put it over here and still have this gauge a lot more, or this vent a lot more functional. You could have it over here out of the way. You could have it. If you want it even more out of the way, you could have it down here in this one. You wouldn't be able to see it very well, but you get the point. It can go pretty much wherever you need it to. So, like I said, mine's going to be in one of these right here. Kind of like it over here a little bit because it's the angle of it, but we'll see. Um, I got to get a new one of these anyway. This one is broke under here, so this is just very loose in there so I want to do that before I get all this in so as if getting a $200 gauge for free wasn't enough John Smith Racing sending me the gauge bezel wasn't enough by the way these are only like 20 something dollars online that is a great deal for something that takes I think it says something like five hours to 3d print that's a long time on a, a processing board but like the, the specs are so tight I mean, this thing is great. Um, how would you like to get really, really cheap Mustang parts? I'm talking like $25 for a five, $600 part. Well, it is possible if you go to JCP Auto Parts on Instagram or Facebook. Yeah. He does raffle or waffles, what they call them all the time. And they're anywhere from 10 I think the highest I've seen, I think, was maybe $40. But he sells so many spots, and you get entered in a chance to win. Okay? Now, if you're, th if you're thinking about a $25 spot, you probably waste that on junk food, cigarettes, beer, something. You have a legitimate chance of winning tubular K-members, turbos, um, a complete rear-end suspension, complete front end suspension he he does all kind of stuff for the mustang platforms and it's just a a great means of getting a chance to win something better and he doesn't sell 50 spots at a hundred dollars for something that don't cost him you know five six hundred dollars he makes his money and when his money is made including the shipping because he does ship it out on you know on his dime so once everything is covered it's just like he sold one. He picks a winner. It's gone. He does a drawing live on Instagram. So, I mean, there, there's no messing up. He does a randomizer. He hits refresh three times so you know, you know, it's nothing that's already loaded there. Um, he picks a first runner up and then the winner. Now, the first runner up gets a gets their money back plus a free entry in the next waffle which i think is awesome so jcp auto parts leave a link in the description as well john smith racing go look at his youtube channel look at his ebay store um i know uh, darius the creator has his egr block off plate which i uh, have not seen yet so i want to go check out them because uh, i got a homemade egr block off plate but guys it's a great time to be in the Mustang community when you have people willing to help out and people going so far. LMR, for instance, Cody Queensberry, like I said, a lot of the information that he helps people with, most people would be like, no, I'm not helping you unless you pay. Not that man. He does awesome with helping people. And all this traffic's gonna come by now. They wanna be in my video. 
Anyway, um, like I said, with this one, I have been previously uh, sponsored by these people, but I guess there's an issue with it being them phasing it out. I can't really mention them. So, like I said, they are going to Haltech, which uh, was like four to five hundred dollars for a O2. So, kind of glad I got that on a deal. So, anyway, guys. Sorry for rambling. I'm just really excited about what I got. It's really going to help me with my nitrous stuff to know if I'm running lean or running rich or whatever. And uh, them videos will be coming up. I have my gas or my fuel door lid right there. Paint keeps messing up. I don't know what it is. I think like after I close it, I think there's a moth or something in here that walks in it or something. I, I don't know. I'm kind of done messing with it. I'm going to put the decal back on it, put it back on the car. But everything else, uh, pretty well good to go as far as the install. Thank y'all for watching. I'm out. I would turn around, I done made it this far Look back now, that wouldn't be too smart Shoot for the stars, even when it gets hard Put my faith in the Lord with the 60 bars I won't turn around, I done made it this far Look back now, that wouldn't be too smart Shoot for the stars, even when it gets hard Put my faith in the Lord with the 60 bars I won't turn around, I won't